Hey Left of Oni fans, John Houck here, just giving you an update on the CAD models uh, that we've got going for the uh, current generation of Lever espresso machines and earlier. In fact, um, Bruce loaned me his Generation 1 machine. I've never seen one before, so that was a lot of fun. And uh, with the help of uh, a tool from Steve Jones that he mailed, uh, which was really nice, um, I was able to whack the uh, sleeve out of the Generation 1 and model that. And I just want to kind of show you... Uh, um, what we have today and you guys are welcome to view all of this online so if you want to up oh, well just want to show you here we now have generation one if you want to look at this document in front of you right now uh, go to bit.ly slash love cad guide and that'll be this guide and from here you'll be able to get all to the all these other cad models as well um, the two cad models i'm going to be showing is just the main one the main uh, CAD model, bit.ly slash lovepavoni. And then I'm also going to show you the four group heads side by side today, uh, and that would be bit.ly slash lovepavoni heads. And you can just type that in your browser or uh, come to this guide and then uh, find the links from there. Uh, this is all uh, um, supported by the team, uh, the Facebook Lepavoni Lever Owners team, uh, which is the link right here. And if you want to get a hold of me, you can get a hold of me through LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter. And, I'll be looking for any feedback there. Um, let's see here. First thing is, just to give you an overview, if you've never seen this website here, um, uh, uh, Francesco's done a really nice job of documenting the Lepavoni models. And if you take a look here, we'll go to the English version, click over here, and we'll just look at the uh, Europicola. And what he did here is he put down a nice table. Uh, see that starting in 1961, he has what he calls the version one. Uh, and you can see there's no drip tray. And this is the generation one group head, as we call it. And going down here, eventually uh, a drip tray was added, called that version 1.4. And all the way down, we have a, a two switch, uh, an, an on off and a a low, a high, and an off switch, uh, which is pretty cool. Back in 1973, he calls that version 1.7. And then the group head changes uh, from taking a look here. Notice the group head is just kind of welded onto the boiler. And uh, then uh, the second generation, he calls that version 2.0. Uh, you can see it's bolted on. And I think we're more familiar with the bolted on. But you also notice that the, um, the, the bell of the uh, group head got smaller and we can see why that is uh, in a little bit. And then he goes on to explain the third generation down here, which is the um, uh, third generation group head as well, where you can see it's fatter again. And uh, so um, anyway, Francesco does a really nice job of laying this out on his website. I recommend you take a look at it and, and enjoy that. Um, anyway, so Bruce sent me his machine. Uh, we, I think it's a 1973 serial number 37824, as exciting as that sounds. Uh, I got it. I took some pictures inside the group head, and you can see that uh, there's a, a, a sleeve, a brass sleeve inside the group head there, and there's this strange little hole there, and then um, here's where we got the serial number. Uh, I'm, I'm reading that as 37824, but if somebody has a better idea, well, there we go. Um, and then this is the uh, tool that uh, Stephen uh, Jones um, uh, sent me and uh, did a little bit of grinding on the tool, got it a little bit smaller, and was able to whack that uh, sleeve loose. Um, not too much damage, um, maybe more to my pride than anything else that it took me that long to get it out. Uh, so yeah, I actually had to use some uh, uh, silicone spray and some hammering and some dremeling tool, and we finally got that baby out. So anyway, um, enough of those pictures. I want to show you the side-by-side -side CAD models. And here they are. And uh, we'll take a look at those in a little more depth. But before we do that, I just want to um, show you that uh, if we go here again to the Lepavoni, that's this CAD model here, it shows um, different vintages. And you can see this is the Generation 1 group head. And if you go down here, you can see... Uh, uh, generation uh, one, the, the Francesco's 1.4. We have the, the grate there uh, that you saw. We have a uh, version two where the group head changes to the narrower group head there. And then we have uh, the new base uh, in his version 2.3. And you can see the base changes uh, color there. And then we have the generation three today, which is the sleeve. So this gets bigger again. 
and then the Stradivaria, uh, which he doesn't call version 4, but I, I assume he would if he uh, put those on his website. So anyway, you've got, uh, uh, you're welcome to take a look at that. And this is um, a work in progress. Uh, so for example, you can uh, take a look at this, you can flip it over, you can remove the bottom cover, uh, look at the, the wiring harness, which I don't have in here for some reason. It uh, looks like a, a work in process should be in there. Don't know why that's not in there. Um, you can also go with a larger boiler, uh, so the professional boiler, so it makes the boiler larger, so you can see uh, the layout of that. Give the CAD model just a second to expand, so I can show you. There you go, so it's a larger boiler. Um, you can also do things like put a pressure profiling kit on the head and see what that looks like, and there you go, or a boiler pressure gauge. Um, so we'll put a gauge right here so you can kind of see where that's tied in. Um, so this is all available on the CAD model. You guys are all welcome to take a look at this. You don't need to create an account or anything. Just click on the link and here it is. Um, and if you want to contribute or help, um, I'm always looking for people willing to do that. So going back to the side-by-side -side, uh, group heads, and again, if you want to get to this, uh, go to bit.ly slash heads, and that should open this up right here. So here are the four group heads. Generation one, kind of a wider uh, bell right there, about 59 millimeters in diameter. Uh, generation two, 50 millimeters in diameter at the top. Generation three, 60, and you know, we don't really know what that is. Uh, some kind of uh, non-cylindrical shape. And uh, so let's uh, let's do a cross section and see what these look like and see what the differences are. So I'm going to turn section view on and take a look at that. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out just a little bit so we can look inside just a little bit more than normal. I kind of like it that way. And uh, so here we go. Now, um, the first thing I'm going to tell you is I'm going to kind of ignore the differences between generations three and four because internally, as far as I know, they are identical. So let's take a look at generations one, two, and three. Uh, starting with uh, generation one, there is this, what I believe is to be a brass sleeve inside. And this brass sleeve right here has three holes for the water to come in, one right there, uh, one over here, and then one that's been clipped off in our in our in our plane here. We have the water supply of just water, so no steam is coming into this group head, and the water then um, would come in, uh, fill in the top of the group head area here. There's a little bit of volume for water to be uh, stored there, maybe cool down the the water when you're doing an extraction. And let's see if I can raise the piston up to kind of give you an idea of what this looks like when it goes up. Um, if you notice here, um, there's a little bit of water volume near the top, and there's this weird hole here. In fact, I kind of forgot to do that when I was doing the section view. Let me, let me change that here again. If you turn it off and turn it back on, it lets you change the section plane again. I'm going to push this back just for a second. You notice that that hole goes all the way up here, and that's maybe the reason for the strange uh, top part of the group head. Let me flip it around. This how this is kind of big compared to the generation two, three, and four. Uh, it's got this weird straight line there, and that's because there's a hole in there. Um, we can speculate uh, why that hole is there. Um, I'm going to throw out the uh, guess that it's got something to do with air. Um, Beyond that, I'm not going to really comment too much because I honestly don't know. Uh, let's see here. So uh, three holes um, in the sleeve, and the sleeve uh, uh, goes almost to, all the way to the top, not completely. The water comes out here from the boiler. When you raise the piston all the way, it exposes these holes here, and you can see it right there. So the water sprays against the side of the, uh, um, of the piston, and once this chamber is filled up, yeah, you... Uh, basically pull down and, and do your extraction. And that's basically generation one. Uh, generation two is a little different in the sense that, uh, well, actually a lot different, uh, in the sense that um, the upper portion is not filled with water typically. Well, I mean, at this point it would be. Um, but as you raise this up, the water is being forced out and uh, it does allow steam um, 
to, to come through here. In fact, actually, I probably misspoke. Uh, when it's down here, uh, maybe at this level here, the, the uh, steam and the water are equalized, so this should drain and water should go back into the boiler and there should be a lot of steam here. If you go down any lower, then I assume this could be a puddle of water or, or steam. Um, and so uh, this is the only group head that has uh, a steam inlet um, into the boiler right there uh, and then the water going in here. And some people say that that uh, heats a group head up nice and quickly, um, but it also um, makes a group head maybe a little too hot after a while. So then we move on to generation three, and look, the sleeve is back, but the sleeve is slightly different. Um, and there's there's not that secret hole going up here for, again, I'm going to guess for uh, holding uh, air bubbles. Um, I believe they solved that here in generation three by having this channel. This channel is where the water enters when you raise the group head, so let me, uh, or raise the piston. So when you raise the piston, then the water comes out see if we can see it there we go water comes out right through there and that means the water is being drawn in from the top right here and the top of this little square area uh, so it should draw any air bubbles that might be there with the rush of water that's my theory never seen it in action because um, we don't have a transparent group head to actually see that happen um, maybe someday we will uh, and then as you uh, bring this down it closes off that hole compresses that. And there's uh, a lot of talk uh, currently about the water over on this side doesn't actually make it over here to this hole and so um, kind of a wasted opportunity that Lepamoni left us with there and, and I think uh, Bong and Tudor are, are doing their best to uh, give us a solution for that and like I promised that we wouldn't really look too much at Generation 4, the Stradivaria. Uh, other than the fact to notice that there's a lot more thermal mass in this group head for, for better or worse. Um, beyond that, it's pretty much the same as uh, Generation 3. Um, anything else I want to mumble about here before we get going? Um, not really. Uh, um, the dimensions are, oh yeah, the um, piston. Uh, that's, that's one thing to point out is the piston on Generation 1 has got a, a different contour on the top. Uh, than the generations two, three, and four. And that's because uh, generations two, three, and four, we have this circle here, um, which allows the gasket to be lower. In fact, if I re-slice that, you can see, and you're, let me flip around this side here real quick. You'll notice that there's this weird ball shape um, on the generation one group head, and you're like, why is that ball shape there? Well, uh, it's there because let me turn the section view on and push it back just a bit so we can see in there again. So it's there because this the rubber gasket and the clip and the washer here that seal that off uh, stick up above the surface here. And because of that, we, we need that little bubble on the side here. To, 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 to make room for that. These here, they're, they're the same height, but the, the top of the group head, if you look kind of down the, down the aisle here, uh, you can see the top of the group head of everything else went higher than the generation one, so they didn't need that, so they raised it. Uh, but then what they do is they, they have this collar coming down. So they did change the piston. This piston here, as it goes all the way up, you can see it kind of straddles inside the generation uh, uh, two, three, and four group heads, where here we kind of have a kind of a different thing going on here. It's a flat surface on the, the top of the group head of the generation one. And uh, so anyway, hopefully I've, I've driven around this model enough for you to draw your own conclusions and, and have your own thoughts that you maybe want to share. Um, uh, feel free to uh, take a look at the CAD model, uh, section this up however you want. Um, and, uh, um, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess that's all I got to say. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.